lithium ion, nickel, and cadmium batteries each have their strengths and weaknesses, making them suitable for different applications. Lithium ion, Li ion batteries are widely preferred for modern electronics and electric vehicles due to their high energy density, lightweight design, and long lifespan. They also have a low self discharge rate and no memory effect, meaning they don't lose capacity if recharged before being fully drained. However, they are expensive, sensitive to high temperatures, and can degrade over time, especially with frequent fast charging. Li ion batteries can be prone to fire or explosion if damaged, overcharged or exposed to high temperatures. This is due to their flammable electrolyte, which can lead to thermal runaway if something goes wrong. Li-ion batteries are more expensive to produce than other types like nickel cadmium, nickel, or nickel metal hydride, NIM. This can increase the overall cost of devices or electric vehicles that use them. A team of scientists have developed electrolyte for high-voltage sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion, now ion, batteries work similarly to lithium ion batteries. But instead of lithium ions, they use sodium ions to store and release energy. In a sodium ion battery, when the battery discharges, sodium ions, na, move from the anode, negative electrode, through the electrolyte and separator to the cathode, positive electrode. This movement of sodium ions is accompanied by the flow of electrons through the external circuit, providing electrical power to the connected device. During charging, the process is reversed. Sodium ions travel back from the cathode to the anode, while electrons flow through the external circuit back to the anode, storing energy for future use. The main difference between sodium ion and lithium ion batteries is that sodium ions are larger than lithium ions, which leads to a lower energy density in sodium ion batteries. This means sodium ion batteries typically store less energy in the same amount of space. Despite this, Sodium ion batteries offer advantages such as the abundance and low cost of sodium, making them a promising option for large-scale energy storage applications. However, their lower energy density and shorter lifespan compared to lithium ion batteries are challenges that need to be addressed for broader adoption. Cattle, a leading global battery manufacturer, has developed a sodium ion battery that aims to address some of the limitations of traditional lithium ion batteries. Cattle sodium ion technology is part of their efforts to create more cost-effective, environmentally friendly energy storage solutions. One of the major advantages of sodium ion batteries is the abundance of sodium compared to lithium, making them more affordable to produce. Cattle sodium ion batteries leverage this by using readily available raw materials, which could lower the overall cost of energy storage systems. Although sodium ion batteries typically have a lower energy density due to the larger size of sodium, ions compared to lithium ions. Cattle has made significant strides in improving the energy density of their sodium ion batteries. This makes them a more viable option for specific applications, particularly in stationary energy storage, such as grid storage, where high energy density is less critical. Sodium ions are larger than lithium ions, making it difficult for them to efficiently intercalate into graphite anodes, which are designed for smaller lithium ions. This size mismatch causes strain on the anode material, reducing the battery's efficiency and lifespan. As a result, sodium ion batteries typically have lower energy density when using graphite anodes. To overcome this, researchers are exploring alternative anode materials, such as hard carbon and tin-based alloys, which better accommodate sodium ions and improve battery performance. Hello and welcome to the Electric Explorer. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We bring you the latest and hottest news on electric mobility every day. We're excited to introduce three membership levels, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers exclusive perks and content tailored for EV enthusiasts. Your support helps us deliver engaging video updates daily and keeps you connected to the EV community. Join us and be a part of the electric revolution. Cattle sodium ion battery chemistry utilizes a Prussian white, Prussian blue analog, cathode and a hard carbon anode, offering advantages like high energy density, fast charging, and excellent low temperature performance. In their announcement, Cattle gave a few details about how their sodium ion battery works. The anode is made out of hard carbon, as is commonly the case. They noted that their hard carbon anode features a unique porous structure, which lengthens its cycle lifetime and allows for more sodium ion movement. For the cathode, however, they are using something interesting. They mentioned that they are using a substance called Prussian white. Prussian white is an analog of a pigment called Prussian blue. First synthesized over 300 years ago, the dye makes a beautiful blue shade and has been noted for removing heavy toxic metals from the body. It is very cheap 
easily made, and non-toxic, but sometime in the early 2010s, researchers also noticed its suitability for use in sodium ion battery cathodes. They have good discharge rates and can sustain their capacity over many charge cycles. Some tests have shown 95% retention even after 10,000 cycles. One big drawback of Prussian blue cathodes, and there will always be drawbacks, is that they lose a lot of their capacity in the presence of moisture. Other companies have been exploring Prussian blue cathodes. Notable companies include the aforementioned Ultras AB and Natron Energy. Cattle said that their first-generation sodium ion battery can achieve energy densities of up to 160 watt-hours per kilogram. This is comparable to the Washington State battery unveiled last June, which as I mentioned, is in turn competitive with current lithium iron phosphate batteries. The second generation hopes to be over 200 watt-hours per kilogram. Furthermore, like as I mentioned, the engineering and manufacturing processes are similar between sodium and lithium ion batteries. So cattle can really take advantage of this by tightly integrating their sodium ion offering into their existing lithium ion infrastructure and product ecosystem. It is worth keeping in mind though that since the two preparatory processes will have so much overlap, sodium ion battery costs will not be drastically lower than lithium ion batteries. Most of the savings will come from cheaper raw material costs. It is like how gasoline prices don't rise and fall in step with oil prices. One paper estimates that the end users will see 10-30% price savings using sodium ion, with all things being equal. They called out battery system integration capabilities, where they can mix and match sodium and lithium ion batteries into one single system. Lithium ion batteries, which right now have higher energy densities, are automatically used by the system when sodium ion falls short. So that is kind of interesting. 